जय भगवान थ्री स्टेजेस ऑफ मेडिटेशन आई एम रीडिंग फ्रॉम डायनेमिक स्पिरिचुअल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन रिटर्न इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व द थ्री स्टेजेस ऑफ मेडिटेशन इन्वॉल्व हार्मोनाइजिंग लाइफ सेकंड रिलैक्सिंग बॉडी सेंसेस एंड माइंड थर्ड स्टेज maintaining constant awareness of the self all these stages require energy and its effective utilization in relaxation restless energy is tamed and controlled one gathers energy by regulating the sense organs with concentration one directs and focuses energy in meditation one expands one expands consciousness and transcends the mind here in the back of the book here's the diagram we are in the middle using our body senses and mind we experience the world we have to live in the world survival pleasure activities so we have to be in harmony with life life means all the activities mind ours all these things being in harmony with life means law, staying with the laws of nature in harmony with dharma or yama and niyamas or 10 commandments of yoga or 10 commandments of all religion then we have to harmonize our body senses mind and focus them and direct inward towards the higher self so there is always tug of war between the world and higher self so when you reduce the attraction to the world and increase the attraction toward higher self you can evolve in the process of meditation if world pulls you down survival pleasure and greed becomes major activity of your life you won't succeed in meditation harmonizing life is very important once you remove the attraction of the world inner journey becomes very very easy harmonize life and live with conscious awareness simplify life and cut down your needs want and desires you have less needs less wants less desires you have freedom to be connected with yourself but needs turn into wants wants into desires and desires never end it will get you lost in the world practice introspection always think remove some conditioning of the past remove illusion of the future remove the escapes running around so become quiet and settle within yourself cultivate non attachment in life because what drains our energy is attachment to things people social life conditional relationship so that ties us and disturbs our inner peace and maintain contact with similar minded friends that means satsang something keeps you inspired something takes you inward into yourself when you have no satsang no possibilities read the scriptures meditate and use all the activities as meditation this is how you succeed in meditation not just by sitting and meditating but you have to work on all the areas of life work on your body senses mind if your body is not healthy if you don't have money to survive if your breath is restless if your mind has lots of desires all this will disturb you so simplifying life and focusing the energy 
then you can focus inward. These are the phases of meditation. Jai Bhagwan.